uh, the risk of sounding like a broken record. Um, <clears throat> one of the great things about this artwork, this installation, is the, again, the multi kind of dimensionality of it. I mentioned yesterday about the sound, you know, the sound they make when the wind uh, blows. And also visually, you know, if you look at them from different angles, they, it just produces a very different visual response, moves all the time. But one of the things, because it's based on critical pedagogy, is this idea of a dialogue, this idea of conscious ra consciousness raising, the raising of consciousness um, through action, through praxis, through dialogue. And for no good reason, I kind of just followed on what some of the people started uh, last week. You remember I said that there were a number of, of Emma along here that somebody had grouped according to health. So just really for the hell of it, I just spent a little, a few minutes grouping them. So we've got we've got love up here. We've got love there. We've got some health down there. We've got money, safety, safety. Uh, we've got happiness up there. We've got uh, division or togetherness there. Reunited. We've got peace. A lot of peace ones along there. Together, community, friendship. Um, and actually, this is the first time I've really kind of engaged with them on this kind of level. Um, they fit into a number of broad themes. Um, you've got obviously hope, you've got the community, however you would define that community. So whether it's a cheerleading group within the side of the community or the church inside the community or, or you know, whatever inside that community. So you've got community, you've got hope, togetherness, peace, happiness, love, tolerance, safety, health and money. They're, they are the main themes just having gone through and ordered this. So I'm kind of interested, now I've put it out there and I've grouped them by themes, I'm, I'm curious to know whether people come along and then say, wow, you know, these are actually, there is actually more community cohesion there than we imagined at first. Um, and I'm just curious to know whether this has any impact on the people trashing it or not, whether that trashing was just a momentarily, a moment, momentary lapse, excuse me, or what, I don't know. We've got yet, yet to ride that, ride that wave out. But I wonder whether if you're presented by this fragmented artwork with, and you're not particularly visually literate and you can't you know, dot, join the dots, <clears throat> I wonder whether you have a different response to it compared to what I've actually done now, which is the group by theme. I wonder whether you, you know, one of the problems with art is that it's difficult to read. Well, if you can, if you can approach it and it can be read um, more easily, does that make, then make your response to it different? Is, are you more receptive to that piece of artwork if you know how to read it? I don't know, but um, I'm curious to know whether they do move around I'm just going to play around with it a little bit longer to see if I can tidy the, the groupings up. Um, but it's it's just a different dimension to the work. Again, you know, it's, it's this idea of using grounded theory where you where you work with the community, not against it, and you you kind of let them be, you know, the informed guides, with you kind of, uh, you know, observing. Um, and if you kind of work in that manner, you take from them and you and you spin it into a, this kind of cycle which is what participatory action research is all about refining the research you know in partnership with the community um, then it does allow for a much more vibrant style of research 